How are you all doing guys? Brandon here from Retro Dodo. Thank you for checking out this video. It's much appreciated. And if you do enjoy it, please do hit subscribe. Now, one thing I've been wanting to do more on this channel and that's feature modders from around the world in the retro gaming community. A couple of weeks ago, we featured a modder that changed a Dreamcast VMU into a RetroPie handheld. That was absolutely awesome, but this is one here that I've been waiting for for about nine months now. It's made by a guy called Thomas over at Octo Retro Lab, and he's basically turned an old school original Game Boy into a arcade boy with a controller. It looks absolutely awesome. He's been working on it for over two years now, and this is the box that came in my office this morning. I've only just slit it. I have no idea what's inside. He's left a note here that says, hello, Thank you for your interest. I'm really happy to share with you my project. As explained in the video that he sent me, the on and off switch is a little hard to move, but he's fixed that in his final product. Um, and you can feel free to take off the screen protector, which I might do. So let's jump right in. Is there anything in here? Nothing in there. This looks like the biggest box. That's probably the arcade boy. That's probably the controller. And that looks like it's it so let's pull out the actual arcade boy oh lord there it is it's been crazy because he's been working on this for so long and he's been constantly sending me updates for the last nine months and i've been excited to get hold of this for you guys and he is very excited to share it through retro dodo so here it is oh lord there it is there is the arcade boy. And as you can tell, it's been 3D printed and it comes in, it basically he printed it with PLA plastic in seven different sections, but you can definitely tell it's kept some original cool looks here. And I think he's even added in a new IPS display, which is incredibly bright. And here is the controller that looks really really cool he's added his logos on it that's nice i'll do a little zoom in for you guys Whoop. there you go so there we have it so it is using original dmg internals you've got the trading cable the volume up and down the uh the contrast and he's added in new bits as well like he's got the headphone jack down here the start and select button down here you got your a b and then he's 3d printed what can only be called as a d-pad joystick which looks really really awesome and here is where you plug in your controller and there's the cartridge slot you got your on off button this is looking sleek and i'm guessing probably can't get in there or can i might be able to, yeah, you can. And there's a look at the internals. So obviously this isn't running on AA batteries. This is using a 1000 milliamp battery inside, which apparently can last two to three hours. So let's just jump right in. I'm gonna pull over a game here. Actually, quickly, you can see the original Game Boy here. It's got a slightly different color tone to it, obviously because of the plastic used. And you can tell it's got a different screen because this thing is going to look absolutely gorgeous, I could imagine. Right, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Let's chuck a game in. So I've got Super Mario Land 2 here. Fits like a charm. And shall I take that screen protector off? Why not? Oof. There you have it. Right, so he said the on-off switch was a little tight, so I'm going to use a bit of force here. That wasn't tight at all. All right, oh my God, look at that screen. I don't know if you can see that, I'll zoom in. But that screen is stunning. Oh Lord, okay. So it's turned on, that was quite quick as well. Where's the volume? So there's the brightness. And the, vo the speaker is down here, which is kind of cool. All right, let's just jump right into it, shall we? I apologize if you can't see, I will zoom in now. Oh my God, this is just such a weird way of playing. That screen is so nice. Oh, I just got hit by the shout. And because it's an I the new IPS display, you click in and you can change the backlight, basically. Look at that. 
I love it. And the plastic used is actually really, really, uh, like it feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels durable. Don't know where the audio's gone. And the audio's back now. Oh no, they got me good then. I jumped into the spikes. All right, should we chuck in like Pokemon or something and try and use this controller? Look at it, just look at that. Oh, screen's changing color because it can. Right, let's, uh, let's chuck in Pokemon. And take a look at that on this thing because that's cool. And what we're gonna do is turn that on like so, and then use the controller. Oh wow, I just, I just plugged it in, and there's a speaker in the actual controller. That's cool, and it's a little bit louder as well. Oh my god, all right, I'll put that down so you can see. This is so cool. And it's quite impressive that you can use the trade cable in this as well. The speaker is much better in this controller than the actual Arcade Boy. Buttons are nice. This is well 3D printed. He's got his logo on it as well. All right, Caterpie. I'm about to kick your butt with my level 12 Bulbasaur. Gonna straight up tackle. And I wonder if Thomas is gonna do more and more. Like, will he go to the Game Boy Color? Will he go to the Game Boy Advance? You know, that would be awesome or maybe even a ds like i wonder how that's possible maybe if there's a screen on the controller that would be really cool there you go and caterpie is dead and it's definitely taken some design aspects as you can see here like it's got that unique dip near the speaker grill just like the original game boy on the back, it's got that weird grip pattern, just like on the Arcade Boy here. And it's just a, it's just a great looking modification. And that screen is absolutely stunning. It's got the on off bit up here, which is nice. I'm well impressed. Thomas has done a cracking job. If you want more info on this, definitely hit him up on Instagram at Octo Retro Lab. I'm not sure how much these go for. I think they're around about the $250, $300 mark, but definitely give him a, uh, a message if you're interested in picking one of these up because it is absolutely adorable, nostalgic, and He's done a great job in terms of, uh, you know, build quality and 3D printing quality and the materials he's used. Good job, mate. Really, really good job. So there you have it. A quick look at the Nintendo Arcade Boy by Thomas over at Octo Retro Lab. As per usual, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit subscribe. I'm tempted to do a lot more modded videos and feature really cool retro gaming modifications. So definitely hit subscribe if you want to see that. And hopefully I see you in the next video. Peace.